at Principia Middle School, we like to meet each student exactly where they are on their learning journey, which means we require dedicated faculty members, and we have that at Principia. The faculty will do whatever they need to do in order to make the student's learning journey a successful one, and one that can engage the students and take them to a place of learning that they didn't think was possible. We will use a variety of teaching methods to meet the learners where they are so that all of the students have an opportunity to go in depth into the curriculum, to investigate, to try things hands-on, to experiment. We often will integrate subjects, integrate concepts, integrate projects so that the students are drawing on skills and knowledge from various subjects in order to complete a task or complete a project. And so the learning and discovery is all about what can I find out and what can I do with that information that I find out and how can I transfer that into a new setting. Our small faculty are working together all the time to try to make sure that we're forming those connections between subjects and extracurriculars so that it's not just everybody in silos, but that the middle school experience as a student is connected and relevant. What I love about Principia is watching my child flourish academically, athletically, and spiritually. The middle school represents all three tremendously well. I love how our students are stretched in the classroom I love what they're taught on the athletic fields. I love the approach to teachers and the faculty, the staff, and the coaches, pushing our children to get the most out of them in every aspect. When a student is their best self, that's when they can learn at their best. So at Principia, character and education are closely interwoven. We ensure that the children bring their best selves to school so that they can learn in the best environment that they can. What I love about our middle school is that the students aren't just in the classroom every day. They're out on the ropes course, they're learning coding, they're learning about the Bible, they're learning how to swing dance, how to drum, all of these different things that an average middle schooler isn't going to get in their experience. The learning is very different than any school I've been to. It engages you more in what you're doing than, say, sitting in a classroom and taking a test. There is always some sort of collaboration going on and uh, the teachers sort of try and get us to communicate with each other and work in groups a lot. Throughout the year, we try and support the learning that they're doing with very intentional field trips to certain places so that they're not only learning the concepts in theory, but they can then go see them in practice. So for instance, in science, the students study geology and then they take a trip to Arizona and they get an opportunity to look firsthand at how geologic processes shape the environment. The seventh graders take a trip to New York City and they do a cultural and historical and social exploration there. And the eighth graders go to Costa Rica and they do a cultural immersion there as well as service projects. The main goal is for the students to gain exposure, for them to work with each other, and for them to prepare for a future that is uncertain. It is not our job to prepare them for our world or for today. It is our job to prepare them for their world, for the future that they are going to experience. So we focus on the skills that they are going to need to be successful and to be future ready. So communication and collaboration critical thinking, creativity are important factors for our children to learn and to develop these skills in order to be successful, future-ready citizens of the world.